In our next lesson, we're going to learn how to take an image and use it to help us sketch. So we create this logo quite a bit. This is our engineering logo. We use it for a variety of different reasons. So we're going to show you how to import that image and then sketch over it so that you can create it in 3D environments. So let's get started. We'll get into Onshape. So we'll create a document. We'll call it using an image to create a sketch. Afterwards, it'll load into the file. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to insert and actually insert that uh, image that we're going to use. But we need to do that in sketch mode. So I'm going to click sketch and I'm going to click the plane that I want to put it in and then I'll press in for normal. And if we look over here, mine already says insert image because I've used it. But what it'll probably say is insert DXF or DWG file. So you actually click the down arrow and then you'll say insert image and it'll pull up and it'll say what image do you want to use there are no images available that's okay because we're going to import it from our computer anyway so i'll import it and we actually use just this logo here okay and it's telling me that it uploaded it i'll also see it come over here you know in the in the, the images now so i'll click the image and then i've got to draw I come over here and start drawing a box where I want the image to be. So now I can use this image to kind of help me sketch. So I'm going to kind of center that up. I can zoom in really good and I'm going to go ahead and I like to use the arc tool a lot and then the line tool. But in particular, A for arc is the shortcut and L for line is the shortcut. So I guess I'll start right here for with an arc. I'll just kind of draw the arc. Then I'll press L because I want the line tool. Then I'll A. For arc, L. And I'm going to continue to draw this. So now that I've got it drawn, I'm going to go ahead and extrude just the husky itself. Okay, so I've got that. I'll keep this pretty thin. So maybe like a 0.125. Now, it seems like I've lost the other part, but I really haven't. I can just turn that sketch back on. So I'll go up here. Here's the actual sketch. I got turned off, so I'll turn the eyeball back on. And now I have access to that sketch again. So I can hit Shift and E. And click the outsides of this sketch as well and what I'll do is I'll hit shift and E but this time I uh, probably will keep this even thinner so I'll say maybe 0.063 there we go the 0 0.063 which is half of the 0 0.125 and now I can rotate it so you can kind of see that we can use images they can really be very helpful too that gives us a great outline in fact I could go back in here now and continue doing more sketch work so that I could get the inside face of the husky and the lettering and everything else if I wanted to. 